Imagine standing on solid ground, only to realize your feet are gently swaying with the current beneath you. Welcome to the extraordinary world of floating islands, nature's moving marvels that challenge our understanding of stability. Unlike traditional land masses, these islands aren't anchored to the bottom. Instead, they drift across lakes, rivers, and even some wetlands, carried by wind, water currents, and sometimes seasonal floods. How do they form? Floating islands typically begin as mats of vegetation. Think tangled roots, reeds, and grasses that, over time, become thick and dense enough to support small trees, shrubs, and even animal life. The secret lies in buoyancy. Gases produced by decomposing plant material get trapped within the tangled roots and soil, turning the entire mass into a natural raft that floats effortlessly. Some floating islands are tiny patches just a few feet across, while others grow large enough to host full ecosystems, including birds, insects, and mammals. In places like Lake Titicaca in South America, indigenous people have even built homes on man-made floating islands, inspired by these natural phenomena. These drifting landforms remind us that even the most stable-looking ground can sometimes set sail, revealing the dynamic and ever-changing relationship between water and earth.